everyone, it's Lady Catastrophe, and tonight I'm playing The Outer Worlds. Last time I completed Neoka and Felix's companion quest, and tonight I am finally going to go to Phineas. To continue the main story. Because I need to go to Byzantium. But I don't think you can go until after. I don't think you can go until after you go to Phineas. But I'm not sure. It's just because on the map it's not lit up. You know, it's so faded. So... even know which one has Byzantium I don't know I'm going to Phineas's lab also We're arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. She says all loud. Um, also, happy N7 Day, which is a fan made holiday celebrating Mass Effect, one of my favorite games. So. I think the Bioware store is having a sale. Alright. We'll take Ellie and Max. What the? I Oh, that's right. I'm over encumbered. There we go. Actually, I think we have to go this way, guys. No, put the gu put the gun away. That's not what I was gonna do. There he is. I'd clap Hi. your shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist, hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. See, I was right. Fighting. I had to go to Phineas first, and then I can go to Byzantium. If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but... To put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. 
The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. Oh my goodness. Okay. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. So what's the plan? Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Oh, that's the that's the, my Gawa. worst She's my, my worst talent. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. That's the worst of the fugitives. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. I have a feeling this is not gonna go well. Anything I should know about this Carmen Imagawa? You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Find Carmen Imagawa, steel chemicals, got it. Yeah, this is gonna be a toughie. But it is what it is what I must do. No. 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 It doesn't look like I can level up anything right now. Oh wait, except maybe these. Wait a minute. Okay, oh! I have to... I learned something new. Oh. So you can level them up individually. See, I was just clicking on the total before, but I can't do that. I have to actually click on the individual. And I... Wow. That was... Wow. This whole time. Ugh. Cannot believe you know no I can believe it you want to know why because I don't I do I just wing it that's all I do I wing it I don't always pay attention to everything this whole time all the persuasion checks I could have made that I missed simply because I did not realize. That I could level up each one individually instead of all like clicking the whole thing. Like, oh wow, I'm just so fucking smart. <sighs> Goodness. Sam, my vacuum tubes require evacuating. No, no, not those. The ones in port. Yes, there. Thank you. And while you're at it, could you switch my binaries to... that? Exactly. I haven't felt this clean and efficient since Captain Hawthorne installed my sub-alternate auxiliary backup processor. What the fuck? Did I just walk in to excuse? I am so sorry. I was interrupting something, apparently. Goodness. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas. No, Cole. don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you right now. Oof. <laughs> I just don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Are you telling me? Byzantium? Are you kidding me? I thought it would have been on one of these, but I guess not. So it's on Terra too. Wow, back to the first. We are now in first of Byzantium, Captain. Are you kidding me? It's it was on the first planet. Wow. Okay. I've done plenty of smuggling runs, but this thing with the chemicals is bold. And I want you to come with me, Ellie. And you know what? I'm gonna take Parvati because her um, companion quest is on um, Byzantium. So. And Ellie. I wanna bring Ellie because she is a smuggler. And what we're going to be doing is smuggling. Got some Cirque du Soleil stuff going on. Looks like. <sighs> okay. There's the contact. Phineas's contact. Wow. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. Yeah, me. Shh. No names, okay? Oh, sorry. The I'm Phoenix new to is this. a wanted man, and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. The Phoenix? Yeah. That's my code name for. You know, our mutual friend. You call him the Phoenix? What's your code name? Oh. I'm Golden Eagle. You like birds, huh? Do I have a code name? Um, yeah. I named you Cuckoo. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Seriously? No way, I'm Golden Eagle. You be cuckoo. That doesn't even make... Fine. Fine. I'm gonna be Golden Eagle, Does thank you. I'm supposed to have one, too? Fine. But make it a really good one. Let's go with... Rufus Hummingbird. Uh, this person loves it. birds. Code names are for amateurs, anyway. Hey! So I've already marked it off. Can't just go reassigning code names. Oh, oh, oh! Can I be chicken? Because chickens will adopt any critter's baby and keep them warm. I love you, you sure so you don't much, Parvati. Or Sparrowhawk? Aww. Okay, okay. Chicken it is. I love Parvati so anyway, much. You're She's looking to make adorable. Contact with Mr. Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. There's got to be a way to catch the minister someplace less protected. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Well, can you get me... Can't you get me into the minister's estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Okay, so what can you tell me? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Sure. Thanks for the tip. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. You got it. How exactly did you get involved in all this I've anyway? always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. So you're a bird girl. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh. Seems almost impossible. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. When they die off, it's a sign that something's wrong. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. Like what? 
For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Trust me, anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible. But most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Not really. And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. That sounds normal. <laughs> yeah. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day, the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. And? At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? That's kind of, yeah, that's kind of how things go around Halcyon in case you didn't notice. Except that's not how they go. At least that's not how they're supposed to go in Byzantium. The whole episode made me wonder. If they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Alright, looks like I've got work to do. Good hunting, Golden Eagle. That's right, I'm the Golden Eagle. I'm not no cuckoo. Kind of seemed like Byzantium was supposed to be this golden, this golden place. I wonder if I'll get to meet Chairman Rockwell. It feels like I've been waiting in line forever. I really thought that Byzantium was supposed to be this, like, golden world or something. Boy, that's that's what I get for making assumptions, huh? There's elevator music? That's probably the longest elevator ride in this game. I've Jeez. done plenty of smuggling runs, but this Shh. thing with the chemicals is bold. Ellie, can you be any louder about it? Why can't something exciting happen around here for once? Nothing wrong with stability. It means everything's running like clockwork. I could push you, you over the edge if you want. Well, a janitor bot like Sam. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? What? No, not really. Kid, you got presence. Natural magnetism. Know what I, I don't mean? trust you. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. There's those street smarts. Just the right amount of rough around the edges. Next time, we'll have you say that over the rim of a trippist out. Product placement, baby. You're one of Listen, those. You got an agent? Some kind of representation? No. I'm freelance. Fresh natural talent. I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real special quality. Raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. Just what are you what are you what are I'm you? I'm making offering? a feature. Space Pirates of Moros Prime. 
it's gonna be a hit. But we still need a star, and I think you got the chops. Ah! Captain! You're gonna be in pictures! Calm down, girl. Already got an entourage, huh? Way to get ahead of the game. So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? I bet, I bet, I bet he is going to ask for me to give him, like, bits. You know? And then maybe like, oh, here, you're gonna go over here. Give me these bits and meet me over here. And then he's not gonna show up. And then I'll have lost the bits. I, but, I mean... I've, I've played Saints Row where you were in a picture, like a movie, and it was a lot of fun. It was a fun quest, but I'm not, I'm not sure that's what they're doing here. I feel like this is a scam, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm in anyway. Terrific! We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby! Interesting. Comforting knowing that anything antibiotics will probably kill you quickly. I still still think it's a scam, but it's okay. Why is it closed? This is supposed to be the golden world, huh? This supposed to be the golden city, the city of dreams, right? Why is the salon club closed? Huh? Everything's looking you know what? Maybe, maybe my little cuckoo friend is right. Look how messed up everything is. Uh-huh. The Grand Chiffonia. Chiffonia. According to local legend, if you walk around the orrery three times, your corporate rival will die of a paper cut. You think I'd get arrested if I climbed up on that to get a look at the gearings? No, yes. Probably just shot. Don't do it. The dissidents actually took over the refinery. I can't believe it. Pastry. And then the chairman shot their space shuttle down with a hammersmith grenade launcher. Incredible. Are you two talking about the new dissident hunter adaptation? Don't spoil it. I'm behind. You need to watch more Aetherwave. You never know what's going on. I don't think that's the that's guns, weapons, and ammunition. I don't see the clothing store anywhere that we're supposed to go to for par for Parvati's. This place is crazy. I've always loved that sculpture. The symposium is also closed. What is this? What is this? House of Inebriation. That's where I was supposed to go. I love Byzantium. Where else are you going to find art, culture, or from toilets? I'm sure other colonies have cities like this. From what I've seen, no, they do not. The haberdashery? I think this is where we go for Parvati stuff. You, with the hips, over here. Let me take a closer look at you. Who the hell are you talking to? With the hips. The fuck? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't speak. Hold that posture for a moment while I admire you. You have a natural contraposto, my dear. What the way you rest your you? weight against your hip suggests a certain rugged charisma possessed only by the mighty primal and Ugh, the well stop talking, lady. Spacer. Splendid. Oh I my love goodness. It. <laughs> you can tell all that by the way I'm standing. Your walk. Your posture, the cut of your clothes, you carry yourself with the bearing of a noble, but you dress like a barbarian. How deliciously outre. She's like complimenting and insulting me all and in you, one go. Are exactly what Byzantium needs. 
you trying to sell me something? I'm an artist, darling, not a tweed merchant. I don't sell things. I pollinate the world with art. You're selling I'm working things. on a new line of clothing that will shock this city to its core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? Uh-huh. What do you have in mind? When I look at you, I see the very embodiment of everything the walls of Byzantium were built to keep out. See? She's insulting! Making an outfit worthy of you won't be easy. I'll need your help gathering the right materials. Of course. Sure. Alright. Uh, let's Marvelous. see where this goes. You and I are gonna wake this city up like a cold splash of wine to the face! What I need is a survey of the outside world. What does the common laborer wear? How do the wild-eyed madmen of Monarch dress themselves? I've heard rumors, but I require samples. Also, I expect you to model for me. Oh my god. Oh, what's the benefit of seeing me wear it? My dear, fashion is a performance art. An outfit without a body is like an instrument without a player. I'll need you to model for me the following. The apparel of an iconoclast, the armor of a marauder, and a full ensemble of spacer gear. Helmet included. And when I say spacer gear, I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. None of that garbage spacers choice pedals. You have the bearing and demeanor of a born model. You're going to absolutely murder this job. This woman is nuts. I'll see what I can do. Fabulous! I can't wait to see what you dredge up. My engineer is going on a date and she needs a fine outfit. You don't gotta be so forward about my reasons, Captain. Why not? Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. My word. Such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. I am no such thing, ma'am. Nonsense. You're absolutely lovely. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Materials, labor, licensing and copyright. There. I can persuade. Love? That's the ultimate luxury, darling. Love. <laughs> oh, gracious me. I don't get why that's funny, ma'am. Oh, my cherub! Who woos for love anymore? That's so... precious. All right, Captain. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Such a lovely young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back! I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. This woman is crazy. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. Can I buy something? I've done plenty of smuggling runs, but this thing with the chemicals is bold. Ellie, stop spreading our business. Oh, how grotesque. I always suspected the dramas did no justice to real marauders. Their armor is so much more hideous in person. Because I'm wearing the marauder Two armor. outfits remain. I can't wait to see what you'll bring me. Something shocking, I hope. I just want to see what you have. There we go. Goodness. Ugh. And not much from the looks of it.
kind of want some uh, some specs. Level 24, level 10. I want this one. Oops. Let's see. I might actually need this because I'm about to do a stealth mission. Level 21, huh? Level 8. So, this one. I love how it says, okay, elegant, eye-catching plaid will get you noticed. New. This fall. But it's stealth skills plus 5. That's just absolutely hilarious to me. Um, oh, but can I not, can I not buy that? Oh, well, fine then, I'll just buy this, that's okay. Oh, that's right, I'm over encumbered now. Uh huh. have like a whole lot of stuff that uh I need to add the alcohol to junk because that stuff doesn't do anything for me it it makes everything negative See, see, look. One well, gives me a better personality. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. And then when I get to the bar, I'll sell all, all of my junk. Cause I keep forgetting to do that. Now what I need... Uh, uh. Now let's try on some new clothes. Cause I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the stealth. Oh man, I'm gonna die. So well, this is sneak plus five. I love have making my characters wear glasses because I wear glasses. But, in this case, this is more important. The sneak. Now, what was it? Now I need Iconoclast and Spacer. Maybe this? I don't think I have any iconoclast clothes. 
have a feeling I'm gonna go to um, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go back to Monarch. But anyway. Oh. Our body. Save. Okay. Now. Remember that stranger I saw in the square? The one with the spacer's choice aficionado. Looked like she'd styled her hair with engine grease. Doesn't she know the spacer chic look was last season? Enough! You're standing right here. Wait a minute, who are you talking about? What the hell? Oh my god. It's because I'm over I'm over in comfort. No minion. You know what? It's fine. I'm gonna go sell all of the junk and maybe that will make things better. You're not gonna talk to me, are you? Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. I don't have a drink. Sell junk. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like two away! Um... What can I get rid of that might help? Plasma rifle, maybe. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Ellie, back, back up from him a little bit. Hey, hey! Hey! Stand back! You... I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Mm-hmm. This... okay. Are you supposed to drink on the job? Of course not. <laughs> but I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. What's so important about guarding Minister Clark? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. Oh, are you now? Yeah. That means I got a key the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. A key, you say? That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. 
How about I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. That's the point. Sure have, cause today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears too. And a powerful thirst. Oh my God. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Shit. I'm gonna go get one. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Um, ah. Or does he want... Let's, let's, is there a regular one? Does it matter? I just want one. That's that's all I want is just one. Okay. Hey, now. you look familiar. Have we met before? Like two seconds ago. Here's to your promotion. Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> Wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Um, I'll leave you to it. I'm gonna go get another one. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. And I will buy another one. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? Here you go, buddy. Here's another Spectrum it's vodka. Not every day you get your dream job, right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Wow. You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Oh, um, he's, uh, medium height with, like, Medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. She's like in his posters. Uh -huh. You haven't met him, have you? Everyone tells me he's very private, okay? Besides, I just started. I probably need to buy another Spectrum Please allow Vodka. Me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails. This man's gonna drink banter. me broke. I'm telling you, he's gonna drink me broke. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Oh, so you're starting to remember me now. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. That's right. Yes, I can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Yes. And now, this is your chance to grab his key. Did you leave it, or do I have to follow him? I have to follow him into the bathroom. I just need to sit down. <gasps> did he? F did he die? <gasps> No, I didn't mean for him to die. <gasps> he is. He's uh, he just died of alcohol poisoning. 
Y'all didn't see. Y'all didn't see nothing. Hello. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. I want to ask you something. Oh, by all means, ask away. Picked up any interesting rumors? Do you know Celeste Jolliker? Yeah. I've heard she's working on some spectacular new design. I know. Yeah. Ready to go that way. I've always loved that skull. See, that's where the dude's house is. What's gone into Bachmeyer lately? Now that he's posted at the HHP, he's too good for us to go Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are publishing our yearly success report. Okay. Profits are soaring. Promotions abound. Thanks to your continued hard work, Halcyon is healthier and more productive than ever. In the coming months, Byzantium will be sure to see the many rewards reaped from your diligent labor. Sure, they look fancy. But inside, they're just marble and existential emptiness. And your plan is to sit idly by. Now, I agree. And what would you have me do? Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of her? Excuse you. For the last time. Access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nav key. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be somewhere else. Anywhere. How splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Why, just this morning I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. And here you are, frolicking. Frolicking? Guys, do I frolic? Hey, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Own it. Well, whatever you call it, do it elsewhere, and take your merry band with you. Honestly, what is the board thinking letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness. Yeah, me, 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 me. I earned my place here, just like everyone else. My grandfather was the CIO at Tile, you see. Wait, but what did you do to earn your place? I just told you. My grandfather made millions of bits as CIO, hey, and I earned me, them me, from me. him. Inheriting bits isn't the same as earning them. Of course it is. Wealth is the most visible, objective measure of success. And success isn't given to you, it's earned. My grandfather taught me that. If you have wealth, you're successful, and if you're successful, you must have earned it. Honestly, it's a simple concept. I see, okay. You're welcome. Now, do we have any further business, or are you just here for the repartee? I'm gonna go. Can we talk? Oh, you wanna talk to me? What's up? Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. This is your companion quest, isn't it? What's that? I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Your parents live here? Funny, you don't strike me as the type who keeps in touch. Which brings us to where we are today. Several messages and a few years late. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. Yes, it fucking does. Mm. I could be sarcastic about it. I never would have guessed. This is why I have to see them. 
they'll hardly recognize me. I'm proud of you, Ellie. Of course you should reconnect with your parents. Reconnect is a strong word. And, uh, I was thinking you'd come too. What? Why would you want me to meet your parents? Because it would be fun. What's this really about? It's, well, they know me as Marilyn the Surgeon. They don't know Ellie the Pirate Sawbones. Marilyn? But you, your authentic rabble, true riffraff, when they see you, they'll get it. Am I supposed to be, like, insulted, or, or am I supposed to, is that a compliment? She thanks. I only wish I could pull it off as well. Okay, we'll go. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. What? Oh, and help yourself to the good snacks and put your feet on the coffee table. <laughs> He's just using me that. to get back at your parents, Ellie. Come on now. You want me on my worst behavior. That's the idea. Anything else? No, I get it. I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Ever notice how this job gets bigger and more dangerous every time he calls in? He's asking a lot, Captain. Makes me wonder what your angle is. You don't get to say anything because you're from you're from Byzantium, the richest place in the in the galaxy. That's one way of looking at it. Another is that he pulled you out of hibernation without your say-so and got you to do his dirty work. Besides, none of this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hands with it? If Halcyon goes down, we all do. I'll do what I can to fix it. Guess I hadn't looked at it that way. Still, Phineas isn't your only option. The board's put a bounty on his head, and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. No. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. Um, the board's corrupt. Everyone is. The board just pays the best. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. No one else out here is going to. Oh, Ellie, I didn't know you cared. Hey, don't get any ideas. I'm just making sure you last long enough to pay me at the end of this. Anything else? Okay. I have a lot of things going on. Hmm. Okay. I may just continue with the main quest for now, at least. Get the stuff I need. I don't know. I kind of want to do Ellie's quest. And I still need to do this faction quest. Yeah, I'm gonna do this, and I think I'm gonna put my other armor back on. Crap, I forgot which one it was. Was it this one? Level 18. I think it was this one that I was wearing. Yeah. 
Where's this one? It's 29 armor. Hmm. Oh my god. No. Mm -mm. I'll wear- I could wear this for- this armor for Ellie's parents. Because it's Marauder armor. This is disgusting. Oh my goodness. I'm just thinking. I'm just trying to decide what, uh... What it is I want to wear. Well, I'm gonna do this one anyway. So... This way. Acropolis district. That must be where the super duper fancy places are. All right. We'll do another sublight quest. Oh, wow. This place is like. Super fancy. You think the privy's gold plated too? Uh, yeah, I'd be surprised if it wasn't. No. Terminal. Logs. I received a message that an unauthorized user was looking through the files on my Cascadia terminal. Maybe some marauder with two firing brain cells, maybe not. I hope whoever it is understands that the sacrifices made on Monarch serve a higher purpose. One day, when all of us have attained a new state of being, humanity may forgive my sins. The project is under attack. It falls to me to defend it. There are few, too few of us left. My work suspicions are confirmed. HRS 1084 was ransacked. Who knows what became of the suspension tanks? My team. As usual, my handlers on the board are no help. Until I deliver results they can replicate, package, and disperse the general population, they desire only silence and obedience from the likes of me. Doubtless there is a connection to be drawn to the hooligans who access my monarch notes. Me, that's me. I'm the hooligan. The project demands that I protect every research asset with my life. Now the time has come to fulfill that promise. Circumstances were hardly optimal at the primary and secondary labs. Political instability pulled Cascadia out from under me, and some combination of cabin fever and paranoia soured HRS 1084. Perhaps my home in, in Steadfast Byzantium will offer the retreat I need. Though I miss working alongside colleagues, I know that I hardly deserve the ones I so enjoyed, the ones I lost. The work continues in isolation and loneliness, perhaps as it should. 
Ever since our species became aware of itself, we imposed our superiority on the worlds we touched. Colonialism worked for a time. But our oldest trick didn't work in Halcyon, did it? Now we are the ones who must bow to a far greater, a force greater than ourselves. We are the ones who must adapt. Update. Wine makes me too introspective. Perhaps I'll balance it out with vodka. Oh. Honey, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Unseal the entrance. I must get into the laboratory. This way. To the lab. That's top of the line equipment. Better than most hospitals, even. Oh, there That's she is. That's far enough. What are you doing here? I wasn't expecting How her to actually be inside? here. <laughs> I'm the one asking the questions. You're in my house, and I'm not fucking around. Start talking. Mm. A Lilia Hagen sent me to kill you. If anyone ever tries to off me, I hope they do it with the same professional courtesy. <laughs> Hagen? I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? Damn it. I knew this would happen. Lilia runs Sublight Salvage on Groundbreaker. A good boss. Bit of a live wire. That's a gentle womanly way of putting it, Captain. She's obsessed with aliens. This is utter nonsense. I've never even been to Groundbreaker. You've been to Cascadia and Station 1084. I know all of your dirty secrets. What happened to the team? Tell me you didn't move their suspension tanks. Sublight took over the lab. Your human aquariums are probably just office decor. Small consolation. My team, the finest minds of their generation, reduced to salvage. What were they trying to prove by experimenting on themselves? We were trying to prove that the colony could survive the crisis bearing down on us. What crisis? Oh, yeah, crisis? What crisis? What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. What? This is startling, but it doesn't explain the research I found. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So, the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believed that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. And all you have to show for it is a lab full of preserved colleagues. I know. I was there. Thomas was the first to take the gas. A simple test, he said. I told him not to, but he insisted. We learned a lot from his autopsy. Enough that we could try it on each other and know when to stop. No one else died. I must find a cure so his sacrifice isn't in vain. You burned through a lot of valuable scientists to arrive at zero solutions. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong. No matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. Isn't Cornelius Vanderbilt one of the assault cruisers patrolling Halcyon? It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. 
imagine losing something with that many guns on it. How'd you lose half a pair of ships like it were a sock? The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. Hmm. Really, you sent me after a conspiracy, but it looks like I found a cover-up instead. I'd prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Where do we go from here? You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. I'm not gonna kill you. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. Lily, Lily let's and just we'll be suck no it closer up. to a solution that feeds the colony. I try not to, at least when it comes to the moral dilemmas. Lilia Hagen's a useful ally to have, but I'll back you up either way. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. Consider that. Well, I, I'm not gonna kill her, but I do like getting the companion's ideas. Seems like she's trying to help, Captain. Honest help. Ain't many in the colony doing that. We should let her try. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. Keep working with the board on a plan to save Halcyon. I'll leave you be. Mm -hmm. You know Phineas Wells? If you work with him, I'll spare you. Ugh. I kind of just want to leave her alone. But if I have her work with Phineas, I'll have to kill those guards that are next to her. And I don't want her to accidentally get killed in the crossfire. You won't regret this. I'm still far from the breakthrough I need, but you're at least giving me a chance. For now, I had better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. Hmm. What if I gave you bits? <laughs> That'll do, sucker. It's, I'm not along. the sucker. The doc has a lot of work ahead of her. Tidying up and such. No, I'm not the sucker. Oops. <laughs> I walked into the wall, which is pretty normal for me, actually. Okay, so, oh, what's this? Oh, I don't want to steal. I only want to take it if it's free. Okay, well, Lily is just going to have to deal. I'm going to put the Marauder armor back on. Because it's dirty and nasty and exactly what Ellie's parents probably want. Well, I know, what Ellie wants. Is what her parents hate. Well, at least that particular quest ended without bloodshed. And Lilia, uh, it's gonna probably take some convincing. She was very adamant about her whole alien theory, but alas, no, it's just that people are slowly dying and the scientists are trying to help. Where's Ellie? What do? Where do Ellie's parents live? Geez, that's right here. There's my parents' place. Smell that? Industrial grade cleaning solvent and desperation. So, all right. And this is where I'm gonna call it here for now. Um. 
So... Next time, I'll be meeting Ellie's parents. That should be fun. And I'm going to be the bad influence she wants me to be. Because that that's just going to be fun. And I hope Lilia doesn't find out what I just did. I'm going to do my best to lie my ass off. <laughs> or at least I can, maybe I can convince her that um, her alien theory is wrong, but I feel like that might, that might take some convincing. Um, so yeah, next time I'll meet Ellie's parents, and I'll also, uh, maybe I'll continue the main quest, or maybe I'll, uh, yeah, that was pretty funny. I'll either continue the main quest, after meeting Ellie's parents, or I'll finish that fashion designer's quest and try it on different outfits. I, I, I hope I have all three, but I feel like I, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe. If you're on Twitch, um, follow, turn on notifications to see when I go live. This is Lady Catastrophe, signing off.